Did you know that you just might occasionally take an over-the-counter medication that could actually increase your blood pressure without you knowing it? That's right, this is a very popular class of medications that millions of Americans take all the time. But this class of medications can also increase the blood pressure and interfere with blood pressure medications. I'm talking about this today because honestly, as a family doc, guys, a lot of my patients never knew this. I'm gonna reveal this in just a moment, but first about high blood pressure. Guys, high blood pressure affects one in two Americans. It is very common. And we call it the silent killer because a lot of times people won't even feel that they have high blood pressure. A lot of times my patients are looking for signs and symptoms, but you may not have any. But it's so important to treat your blood pressure and to take your doctor's advice. Why? It can increase your risk of heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, kidney disease, vision loss, um, sexual dysfunction, and so much more. So what's this class of medications that could increase your blood pressure? It's over-the-counter pain medications. That's right, OTC pain medications, but not just any over-the-counter pain medications. I'm talking about the NSAIDs, N-S-A-I-D-S, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. Uh, if you're wondering what that means and what that is, I can break it down for you. That's simply medications like ibuprofen, which is known by the brand name of Advil or Motrin, or naproxen, which is often known as Aleve or Naproxen. There are many others as well. And guys, I'm not picking on these particular brands. We're talking about NSAIDs in general over the counter, okay? So this is not brand specific. This is important for you to know. It's not that these medications are necessarily dangerous. Yes, these are right for some people, not right for other people for various reasons. But one thing a lot of people don't know is that these very medications, ibuprofen, naproxen, can actually raise the blood pressure and can also interfere with your blood pressure medications. Now, some people, and you might be asking, well, how is it gonna raise my blood pressure? Well, um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications um, can actually increase sodium and water retention, which can then cause an increase in your blood pressure. They also do a lot of other techie things in the body, such as inhibiting vasodilating prostaglandins and uh, the production of vasoconstricting factors, namely endothelin-1. Um, so I know that's a whole lot of gobbledygook. The bottom line is that these medications affect your body in such a way that they can increase your blood pressure. So does this mean that you should never take ibuprofen or nep naproxen? Um, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you need to think about how often you take these medications and you need to talk with your doctor. If your doctor does not know that you take ibuprofen or naproxen occasionally or frequently for whether it's back pain or uh, menstrual cramps or headaches or arthritis or whatever, if your doctor doesn't know that, they really should. And understand that you may need to make adjustments in how often you're taking these medications. Your doctor needs to discuss this with you. So this is a heads up, guys. Don't just go over the counter and take all the ibuprofen that you can find for an issue you think you're fixing because you might actually be doing harm in other ways. One of the ways can be potentially with your blood pressure. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Talk to your doctor. Find out what's right for you in particular. It's going to be different for every single person. Guys, I hope this is helpful. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and a, and a video creator. Um, please like and follow my page if you have not already. For those of you who send stars, I so appreciate you. Please share this video. I want everyone to know. Guys, I will be back soon with more videos.